No, science is, you know, it's, it's probably one of the most important things you'll learn about in school because it's about progression. Science is about the future. So, um, I'd say it's, it's pretty important. My favorite scientist, Dr. Emmett Brown. He invented the flux capacitor. I love technology. It amplifies my thoughts and it allows me to share what I create. But education is just as important. Intel has been working for years to advance education with new hands-on teaching methods. Intel is proud to be a sponsor of FIRST and also proud that students are using Intel-powered classmate PCs to power the robots. These kids are the rock stars of tomorrow, the geniuses of today, and competitions like this bring them and their amazing stories to center stage. Now, check out what happens to the Penguin Ears when they hit center stage. The Penguin Ears bring new meaning to the term cool under pressure. We all know our robots like sweet, and a lot of other people come up and just said, you know, you guys have probably one of the best robots made here. And I mean, we take that to heart because we built, we put so much into it. Get a robot to this level, I'm taking these students to a new whole level of, of education. I mean, that's my goal. I'm trying to transform education. When I was in school, we used to have wood shop, marching band, and all these things. Things like this, like this program, are where you really see accomplishment. This is the innovation that shaped our country. But there are kids that are just sitting now for six hours a day. This team takes nothing sitting down. So what I'd like to see is every high school has experiences in areas that the students are interested in that model after this program, where it's project-based, where it's real world, where they're learning with mentors and they're learning by doing. And the idea is then they walk away and they actually know how to do stuff and can apply their academics to it. And that goes double when these brave penguin ears face the cold winds of adversity. a lot to me. When I was in school, it was always an important class. I remember I had to do um, this this project once where it was like you created all the planets and you brought it into school and all the other kids in class did it too. And I did it with my mom and we like painted all the little, um, all the little like styrofoam balls, different colors. And I don't know, it's just always been important to me. Uh, I'm Scott. I'm from Team 971. The summer after my eighth grade year, um, I had this brother, Grant, that died. When our son got sick, we were in the hospital all the time. Scott came to 99% of all of the treatments. We were like joined at the hip, we did everything together. I was kind of just like left alone. I didn't really know what to do. Our son had died and we needed Scott to get involved in something. My wife told him about the robotics and what a great time her friend's son was having, and he would have nothing to do with it. I showed up to a couple of meetings, and they, they really brought me in. They, they helped me out. They gave me something to focus on. They designed me like a random project, you know, like bolt together these two plates, you know, drill together the first few times so, you know, the holes don't line up. You do it a couple more times, you start, you start to get used to those things. And so Mountain View High School was really generous, and they allowed Scott to be on 
the robotics team, even though he doesn't go to school there, and he still doesn't go to school there. I'm at the point now, I'm, I'm a junior, I've been on the team, this is my third year, and um, I'm team captain this year. Through just the love of robotics, Scott has grown, he's now taking charge. You see that translating at home. Before I joined the team, I didn't really know where to go. I was just kind of like wandering back and forth. And once, once I got introduced to this, you know, all this robot building stuff, I, I realized, you know, this is this is what I'm really good at. Science is rock and roll. Of course it is. My favorite scientists mm, at the minute, contemporary of ours, Anton Zellinger, absolutely the Einstein Institute in Austria. His big idea, his E equals MC squared moment is the result that at the heart of the universe is not matter, is information. Very deep. Next, we profile one of the winning teams, the Cheesy Poops. We should be good going into this match. Just gotta get everybody calm. It's hard to do when you're excited, though. And don't miss the Black Eyed Peas big music finale. Here we go! When I am first, science is rock and roll continued.